Right, this is continuing on from yesterday. This is the Art of Iron Man 2 book. Um, done the first one yesterday and now on to this one. Um, as you can see from the front cover, a nice picture of uh, War Machine and Iron Man in his Mark 6 done by Eddie Granoff. And if you saw the last video, I'm a big Eddie Granoff fan. Um, in the back. And inside us, look at the most anticipated film of 2010. You're damn right it was. Um, and there's Iron Man fighting drone. Um, but yeah, I've never been a big fan of these books, but I have to admit, I really do like these two. And slide this open. Get out. There you have the, the book itself. There's a nice picture of Iron Man in his Mark VI concept armor. Picture of Iron Man and War Machine we've all come to know and love. Picture of Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. There's the chapters. Forward by John Favreau again, just like in the first one. The Hall of Armor. This is obviously about all his armors. Um, talking about the Mark VI <clears throat> and all their concept. By the Mark IV, sorry. Their concepts with it. Um, nice picture of the movie stills and pictures of the 3D armor, computer generated armor. And I wanted the suitcase armor. I like this, I like this chapter. Um, they talk about obviously they wanted to make this, they wanted to put a suitcase armor in the first film but they just couldn't. Um, and then they actually got the chance to do it in this film and then obviously we saw it in the film itself. Um, I, I love the, the mix between concept art and um, movie stills. And that's what it would look, look like inside. And there it is all beat to shit. Even though we never really saw it to that extent in the film, it's still kind of cool that they, they did it just to see what it would look like. And he's talking about the Mark VI. Um, the influenced by A.D. Granoff's um, Extremis armor. All the different views and takes on the Mark VI. There's one with a Silver Centurion color scheme. Very nice. There's the aut autopsy, autopsy armor. Um, the layout of all his armor pieces is kind of cool. And there it is, all beat to shit after the fight with Whiplash. Nice picture of Iron Man's helmet in front of the American flag. Um, this is another piece of the Hall of Armor. This is kind of cool. This page folds out, and you get concept of how the Hall of Armor will work. And you go over, and you get the poster of from San Diego Comic Con 2009. And I'm sure it's on, front of, on the front of an Iron Man comic, I don't know which one. But that's kind of cool. More of his armors there. Brother in Arms, and again the front cover with Eddie Granoff. Uh, obviously it's going to be about the War Machine chapter, nice movie stills with the drones behind them. Um, and I like the fact that the concept of War Machine changed, didn't change much from the concept that they had for War Machine in the first film. If you see it in the other book they actually had a picture of War Machine, or a War Machine concept that they've pretty much stuck to through their, this entire film as well, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> I was a little disappointed we didn't see them in the film. What can you say? We saw the, the missile. Um, again, nice 80 grand of heart. And there he is all beaten up. And then went to the Black Widow. And his picture of Scarjo. Some of the concepts on her suit. I wish they'd use that belt buckle though. I would have liked to have seen that. Nick Fury. Sam Jackson. 
legend concepts of his suit. And what he actually looked like in the film. A lot of his different, well, his actual costume from the film. Now I want a whiplash. A little story about Whiplash, where he comes from, who he is. Um, there's his uh, art reactor that he builds in Russia. A lot of different concepts of what he might look like. And the one they finally settled on. There's someone trying it out. Um, there's a lot of his uh, suit there all broken down. Picture of Mickey Rourke. Justin Hammer. Um, I love Sam Rockwell. I was I was impressed with Sam Rockwell and uh, it's Justin Hammer. I loved it. Um, there's the Hammer drones at the expo, and these are the Feebles. They are named. They're called the Feebles from different countries. There's Canada's Feeble, um, China Feeble, German Feeble, Russia Feeble, England Feeble, um, Pakistan Feeble, the Iran Feeble. Um, and these are all the drones that they tried to make but failed. Um, and now onto, <coughs> excuse me, Hammer's drones, which are just brilliant. Um, and the concept of these and some movie stills as well. Nice concept out on the drones. And there's the army drone. The navy drone. Air Force drone and the Marine drone. I like the Marine drone actually. And there they are in like real world environment. And I hope they bring them out as six inch figures. I would love to get two of each. It's like an army builder. I think that would be brilliant. And a figure of Sam Rockwell as Justin Hammer. Um, and here's Whiplash's armor. I think that's the armor they finally went with at the end. But these are just different concepts of what they could have used and didn't. There is picture on the end of the film. And this is just all about the environments from uh, the Senate chambers to his house, which we saw in the first book. Pretty much just the same in the first book about his house. Just flick it through it quickly. A little bit more detail about his house in here. There's his workshop, which has changed a little bit from the first film. Van Co's lab. Hammer Industries. The Start Expo 74. And there it is up in 2010. Uh, Flushing. Flushing Meadows. really nice. There's the Iron X. Concept in the Iron X. And there's the Oracle Zen Garden where he fights with Blash at the end. Forged in Iron. These are the storyboards. One flying, th flying into the expo. <coughs> through it. Um, building tomorrow, this is all the technology that it builds, like um, his new chest RT. I think the uh, the uh, element he was meant to have created was meant to be vibranium. I wish they'd explained that a little bit more in the film. That's the only complaint I had with the film, is that they should have maybe explained that a little bit more. Um, and there's this cool little phone that he uses in the film. His jet. Um, his race car and his race suit, you can call it, HUD display. <clears throat> Marketing, again, like in the first book. Some cool posters. I like that one. And again, contributing bios, acknowledgements, 
end of the book. It got on four machine. So there you go. Go buy them. Now. Go now. Buy them. Nah, I'm kidding. Okay, rock and roll.